Have you ever watched an NBA game where a player goes down with a scary injury? Those moments are gut-wrenching for players, coaches, fans, and commentators alike. In this video, we'll relive some of the scariest NBA injuries caught on camera. Basketball is an intense physical sport where world-class athletes push their bodies to the limit. With so much running, jumping, contact, and awkward landings, injuries are an unfortunate reality. Some are just minor tweaks, but others are serious enough to make you hold your breath. We're not trying to glorify or make light of players' pain. Instead, this video serves as a reminder of the risks NBA players face and the toughness it takes to perform at the highest level through the inevitable bumps and bruises. Number 1. LeBron's Ankle Roll Let's start with one of the game's all-time greats, LeBron James. In a March 2021 game against the Atlanta Hawks, LeBron came down awkwardly on a drive to the basket and immediately grabbed his right ankle. You could see the anguish on his face as he writhed on the floor in obvious pain. It turned out to be a high ankle sprain that sidelined the then 36-year-old LeBron for over a month. For a veteran logging heavy minutes every night, that's a tough injury to overcome at that stage of his career. But true to his Ironman reputation, LeBron gutted it out through rehab and returned for the stretch run and playoffs. Number 2. Siam's Meniscus Tear Siam Williamson is a human highlight reel at 6 feet 6 inch and 285 pounds, but all that explosive leaping power puts immense strain on his body. In just his fourth NBA game in January 2019, Zion went down clutching his right knee after attempting to plant and spin on a drive to the hoop. He had to be helped off the court by teammates, and the diagnosis was a torn right meniscus that required surgery to repair. It robbed us of seeing a full rookie season from the highly touted Zion, but he'd go on to make a highly anticipated NBA debut the following year after rehab. Number 3. Gordon Hayward's Broken Leg One of the most gruesome injuries we'll cover is Gordon Hayward's broken leg in the 2017-18 season opener against the Cavaliers. Just five minutes into his Celtics debut after signing a huge free agent deal, Hayward went up for an alley-oop and came down at a sickening angle, snapping his left tibia and dislocating his ankle. Players instantly called for medical help, and the cameras cut away as Hayward writhed on the floor screaming in agony. He missed the entire season recovery, but has shown incredible perseverance to continue his NBA career, even making an all-star team again years later. Number 4. Paul George's Leg Break Speaking of leg breaks, we have to mention the infamous and horrific compound fracture injury Paul George suffered in a 2014 Team USA showcase game against Lithuania. In a routine basketball play, George was cutting off a backdoor screen on a fence. But upon landing awkwardly on the base of the basket stanchion, his leg buckled grotesquely and snapped in multiple places. The visuals were like something out of a nightmare. George's body crumpled in a disturbing heap as his leg was bent at a sickening angle, the bone protruding visibly through the skin. Players and coaches instantly looked away in shock, many vomiting on the court from the gruesome scene. The exhibition game was immediately called off as the arena went silent except for George's anguished screams. He had suffered an open tibia fibula fracture that left bone exposed, one of the most painful and difficult injuries an athlete can suffer. George had to be rushed to a nearby hospital, where he underwent extensive surgery to repair the broken bones. It took him nearly a year of intense rehab, but the athletic freak of nature incredibly recovered to pick up right where he left off as an NBA all-star and standout. Number 5. Prayers for Lamalo Let's move to a more recent scary injury, one that had everyone holding their breath. Lamalo Ball's sickening ankle injury in January 2023 against the Pacers on a seemingly routine drive down the lane. The talented young guard's ankle rolled inwards at a disturbingly unnatural angle as he rose up for a layup attempt. Lamalo immediately crashed to the floor, his anguished screams filling the arena as he stayed down clutching the ankle. 
You could see from the replays how his foot and ankle area bent at almost a 90 degree angle before the full weight of his body came crashing down. Lamalo had to be carried off by teammates, unable to put any weight on the leg at all. It was later diagnosed as a fracture in his right ankle that would require surgery to stabilize the area and months of arduous rehab. Just a brutal gut punch of an injury for the blossoming 21-year-old star, who was finally having a breakout season. Number 6. Brandon Jennings Leg Break We have to warn you, the replay of this 2015 injury to Brandon Jennings is extremely hard to watch. On a drive to the hoop against Milwaukee, Jennings lands awkwardly, and his left leg bends backwards at a stomach-churning 90-degree angle as it snaps. Jennings instantly collapses to the floor, writhing in agony and grabbing his leg. The cameras mercifully cut away, but the sound of Jennings' agonizing screams leave no doubt about the severity of this open tibia and fibula fracture. Injuries like these show why basketball players are such tough athletes to endure that level of pain. After extensive surgery and rehab, Jennings was able to make a comeback over a year later. Number 7. KD's Achilles Tear In the 2019 NBA Finals between the Warriors and Raptors, Kevin Durant was locked in an epic battle after missing over a month with a calf strain. KD tried pushing to return for Game 5 in Toronto, but midway through the game, Disaster struck as Durant clutched his lower right leg after going down on a transition drive to the basket. It was later revealed as a dreaded Achilles tear, one of the worst and most debilitating injuries an NBA player can suffer. Durant had to be helped off by the Warriors' medical staff, unable to put any weight on that leg at all. He missed the entire next season rehabbing as the Achilles is one of the toughest injuries to recover from at an elite level. Number 8. Nurkic's grotesque leg injury. Fair warning, you may want to cover your eyes for this next one involving Joseph Nurkic in a 2019 game against the Nets. In a routine battle for a loose ball rebound, Nurkic's leg gets trapped underneath the body weight of another player, bending severely in the opposite direction as the bones snap. Nurkic's anguished screams fill the arena as he understands the severity of the compound fractures to both his tibia and fibula bones in the lower leg. The images are hard to watch, but they show why we should appreciate the pain tolerance and warrior mentality of NBA players. Number 9. Sean Livingston's Knee Dislocation Our number 9 scary injury involves Sean Livingston back in 2007 when he was just 21 years old with the Clippers. On a routine lefty drive to the hoop against the Bobcats, Livingston's knee buckled and dislocated in a gruesome way as he fell to the floor grabbing his leg. You could almost see the knee bent at an unnatural sideways angle through Livingston's shorts. He had to be stretchered off and underwent extensive knee surgery and rehab. Livingston incredibly worked his way back a few years later and carved out a very solid 10-year NBA career as a pro. Wow, those were some of the scariest and most gut-wrenching injuries the NBA has witnessed over the years. It's incredible the pain threshold, perseverance, and mental toughness players have to possess. We hope guys like Lamola Ball and Kevin Durant are able to fully recover from their devastating injuries. If you enjoyed this hard-to-watch but eye-opening look at the dark side of NBA action, go ahead and smash that like button. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel so you never miss our new basketball content. Let us know in the comments if you have any other scary injuries you'd like us to cover. And thanks for watching.